1970s India. Women athletes were a rarity and those who chose to pursue were rebuked, ridiculed <laughs> and rejected. But a little girl born in a small village in Andhra Pradesh went on to quite literally lift her nation onto a global pedestal. Shunned by the local coach, rejected by most, but from all the societal letdowns emerged a hero. This is her story. Born on 1st June 1975 in Andhra Pradesh's Vusavani Peta, Maleshwari's father Manohar was a constable in the Railway Protection Force and a volleyball player. And her mother Shamla pushed four of her five daughters to take up weightlifting. She believed that weightlifting would help make her daughters strong. Relatives and village elders disapproved, but Maleshwari's mother was her rock. My mother was very supportive and my pillar of strength. During my initial days, we could not afford hotel stays or expensive food from outside. Wherever we used to put up, my mother used to carry a gas stove and utensils and prepare food for us. At 12, she walked to the Seoul gym in her village with a dream of taking up weightlifting, a male-dominated sport then. The local coach shunned her for being too thin and fragile for weights. But the rejection became Maleshwari's motivation. When I started, women weightlifters were very rare. Participation itself was a big thing. There were restrictions put on girls and there wasn't much coaching, training or equipment. My sisters and I didn't have any weightlifting kits, nor were we aware that there were specific shoes and belts for the sport. I practiced on mud. Maleshwari had no formal training in the initial years. She was first spotted by India's Russian weightlifting coach when her sister Krishna Kumari was training at a national camp at the Bangalore Institute of Sports, ahead of the 1990 Asian Games. Soon, Maleshwari also joined the camp. In her first junior nationals in 1990 at Udaipur, she broke nine national records, competing in the 52 kg category. At 16, she won a silver at the 1991 Senior Nationals held in Ambala. Two years later, she won a bronze at the World Championships in Melbourne. And in 1994, she clinched gold in Istanbul, becoming the first Indian woman to become a world champion in weightlifting. That year, she also won a silver at the Asian Games in Hiroshima. And then came another gold at the World Championships in Guangzhou, reclaiming the top spot. Weightlifting for women was first introduced in the 2000 Sydney Olympics. By the time Maleshwari geared up for the Olympics, she had already won 29 international medals, of which 11 were gold. She was advised to move from the 63 kg category to the 69 kg category, where she had never competed on a global stage. Critics had doubts about her performance, but she kept her eye on the prize. Ahead of the Sydney Olympics, India had won only one medal in the last four editions in 1984, 1988, 1992 and 1996. No media person was there to cover my event that day. They had no hopes of a medal. 
just when it appeared that India would have to settle without any medal again. Maleshwari lifted 110 kilos in snatch and 137.5 kilos in clean and jerk. She won a bronze, becoming the first Indian woman to win an Olympic medal. It wasn't my medal alone. It belonged to the nation, to my fellow Indian Olympians. On the podium, it was not Karnam Maleshwari standing. There's a girl representing the whole of India. And that feeling is special. Olympic medal is a dream come true. She married fellow weightlifter Rajesh Tyagi in 1997 and gave birth to her son in 2001. Maleshwari did not participate at the 2002 Commonwealth Games in Manchester following the sudden demise of her father. She made a comeback at the 2004 Athens Olympics but failed to win a medal and retired soon following a back injury. And it took 21 years for another Indian woman to win an Olympic medal in weightlifting. There are hurdles and once you carve out a path, the confidence automatically builds up in others. Once that happens, a girl is able to think that if someone can do it, then why not me? I feel proud to have created this pathway for our girls and to see them winning Olympic medals. Some people tell me even today, ma'am, you started it all. So I feel delighted to have changed the perception. We are truthful, unafraid and independent because of you. Now you can help our reporting from the ground. Go to thequint.com, click become a member tab, choose a plan and pay. Because the truth is worth it.